that's the most powerful thing about music is you get to put impressions on so many people. It's a chance to like put my thoughts into the world. So I think being able to be my true self is one of the most important things, whether it be creatively or if it be in business, like the things I'm doing today, the, the world I'm building, fit on me would be like the static of who I am today. I want listeners to hear these next songs and feel like they're getting a better vision of who I am. I am an artist, but I'm just gonna share me and let that be part of self. The moment that I knew I wanted to do music, I believe I was like 14, and Lil Wayne that came to town, he came to San Antonio, me and him in the nosebleeds watching, screaming it and just enjoying it, and I've been listening, to be listening to your headphones, but now listening in person, seeing it. I was like, oh, that's bigger than life. Like, I want to do that. And so I, I started growing my hair at that point. I, my friends and I, we started a rap group. And there was four of us, and we called the group Swag Hooligans is the name of it. Wow. Oh, man. It was bad. But it was so much fun for as like being 14 year old kids, like wanting to be a rapper, growing up in a military household, growing up in, in a very religious household, and wanting to be a Lil Wayne was kind of at odds because like things Lil Wayne talked about like was drugs or money or uh, his relationship with women. Uh, I had none of those things. Like, I didn't want to like, lie in my raps because like, you can't do that. So I quickly figured I was going to be left out. That's when I started learning how to sing. Pivoting from rapping to singing was more of like, I want to do music in whatever way I can do it. Singing was definitely an outlet that I felt was easier for me to, to tangibly see me get better at. And I think I went from like wanting to be famous, I guess, as a kid to actually fall in love with doing the music and becoming a musician. In college was when I started learning how to produce and like I picked up instruments and started playing the piano, started playing the guitar. Uh, so a lot of those memories are like definitely the things that kept me like enjoying my time in college. Yeah, so we actually met as nerdy as it sounds at um, an acapella group in college. We went to like nationals and it was kind of like pitch perfect. It was amazing kind of sharing the stage with him and it was really cool to see he had this like big dream and has always known what he wanted to do. It wasn't until my last semester of college, and that's when I put out Blue Patio as Jay Wild. My first project as Jay Wild. Working on Blue Patio was part of the most chaotic times in my life, but also looking back on it, like I think about it so fondly. Those songs were just me making those in my room, just on my own, not knowing what to expect, um, no pressure, like numb, for instance. Like to, to hear when I made the, the beat for it and I heard the pieces come together. And like, I remember the excitement that I had. And I was like, oh, that was dope. My goal for it was just to say I, I put together a project. So I wanted my friends to listen to it and be like, oh, this is actually good. Like, I enjoy this. Let me share it with a friend. But when it got into different playlists and it reached outside my network and I had industry people hit me up in my DM and I was like, oh, this did something else. I mean, I, I know he knew it. He knew what he deserved. Like, he, he always knew who he was going to be. Um, I don't think he expected people to receive it the way they did. I think there's such an innocence with that project that is special. That album just is so precious to me. Everything he wrote truly came from the heart. When people relate to the songs, they relate to the, the lyrics. I see how they're relating to that, that 20 some kid that was just searching for something and not knowing what it was. With the Blue Patio project, especially after it really started to gain some traction, I was a bit overwhelmed. I feel like I wasn't prepared for the moment, if I'm being honest. Oh, we just got a uh, first million streams on the song. Like, let's, let's keep going, let's keep pushing, let's keep, let's get more. There's label people and there's thousands of people that are looking for me to put something else out. I think I was just head down, always trying to, to work and to do the next thing. Overthinking it and kind of letting a committee of people help make the songs and the ideas in a way that wasn't authentic to who I was yet, because I didn't know who I was at that point either, so. The big change for me was the pandemic, not being able to be outside and do shows. My, like, my numbers were going down. Just a lot of stress that probably was a lot self-induced. I, I felt like I was not losing it necessarily, but it was a very quiet moment. 
I had to step back and see, okay, what do I want out of this life? Like, what do I want out of this music? With that came a lot of personnel changes, really stripping this all down to myself, be able to find my own voice. Part of the most important thing I've learned about myself is I've worked best when I can be my most authentic self, whether it be creatively or if it be in business, like to work with individuals who match the idea of the community I want to build. And so I knew at that point that I wanted to make a bigger move to like pour my all into music and be in one of those sites that had the infrastructure that I needed. I moved to LA top of 22, about a year and a half ago now. I was equally terrified and also just like excited to, to figure it out. Kind of winging it, just taking on sessions and, and meeting people. It wasn't until the back half of last year that I think started getting a little more grounding. I know when I met him, I thought he was living in LA for like way longer than what he actually like was. I instantly got that he was like really driven and really ready to grow. Jocelyn's great. She's a uh, just very like go-getter. It's cool seeing the growth and the trust that we have to build with each other. Now me and him have a really good flow and an amazing team. Building community and, and actually making friends with the people I was working with was a different level of like comfort instead of being uh, on your own. Today I'm cooking dinner for my friends. I invited a bunch of my friends I've made out here and some new, some old, uh, to just have a good old family dinner. I'm making some Japanese curry, cutting up some veggies. Right now we're making a vegetarian curry. So, I think I'm a lot like my dad. Uh, him and I are like the same person and he, absolutely loves cooking for others. That's like his love language. I think I kind of took it from him of that I enjoy making things that other people can consume. I can show like, hey, taking the time to cut this properly, um, season it properly, all that. You know? The way that I wanted to build my network and build my community, I think getting people who are on the same page as I, as creatives and as people, even more importantly, I think it was a big deal for to make sure that they were the same energy so they could all hang out in one place. So see it happen now, it's like, okay, cool. Well, this is what I wanted in the first place. So I'm very thankful. Everyone's pretty cool. One, two, three. I packed away the life I made. The team that we have is just so extraordinary and I feel like we have now that like stable foundation. Whether it be my stylist or my management or the producers I work with, they're all just incredibly talented. Just to see that collaboration in a way that I didn't have before. And it's been much more fun for me and to see the art get better as well. Specifically the last year, this year's work that we've been doing. Like my new song is called Where We Now. I'm talking about my journey from moving out here and getting settled. Kind of seeing the different pitfalls that, that you could take. Him and I had that conversation when he was writing it about being in a state of confusion of like, where am I now? Like I moved to this brand new city. Things are changing, things are tumultuous. Kind of what we got back to is like, where are we now? What are we doing in today's time to get us to where we want to be at? And is the younger version of us going to be happy with how we're moving now? I feel this era of me kind of redefining myself now that being here for a little bit, now having a dedicated team that's done incredible work, I feel like this is the time now to let people in on what we've been working on. This is such a transformative part of my life right now, with me being freshly here in LA. There are those pieces that are starting to form of a life out here. He's one of my closest friends here, whose growth I've like appreciated so much. These next couple songs I know are just going to be such a strong reflection of the change that he's been going through. I think creatively I, I figured out my voice, how I want to build the world. It's like, let me put one song out, let me show you this, let me do another song, let me show you that. The songs get a little better, or the, the mixing getting a little bit more crisper. All the pieces are going to continue to get better as we go. So I'm looking forward to making art here that's going to be captivating. I'm growing as like an artist and 
really being intentional and driven on like, this is what I want, this is what I want people to feel like. Yeah, I only see it going up from here. It's like I planted the seeds. It's a matter of me just watering those and just letting those all happen. I don't know what the future holds and I have little control over a lot of it, but I enjoy the world that I've created now because it seems very more authentic and true to me. We try, we try.